Hearst Tower is located at 300 West, 57th Street on 8th Avenue, near Colombo Circle. It is the world headquarters for the Hearst Corporation, bringing together for the first time their numerous publications and communication companies under one roof, including Cosmopolitan, Good Housekeeping, and the San Francisco Chronicle, to name a few. Hearst Tower revived a dream from the 1920s when William Randall Pierce envisaged Columbus Circle as a vibrant new quarter for media and entertainment companies in Manhattan. Pierce commissioned a six-story art deco block on 8th Avenue to house his publishing empire. When it was completed in 1928, he anticipated that the building would eventually form the base for a landmark tower. Through no scheme was ever advanced. Therefore, the objective was to establish a creative dialogue between old and new. The tower was designed by the architect Norman Foster, Britain's most prolific builder of landmark office buildings, who proposed a 42-story tower that provides almost 1 million square feet of office space. It rises above the old building linked on the outside by a transparent skirt of glazing that floods the spaces below with natural light and encourages an impression of the tower floating weightlessly above the base. The main special event is a lobby that occupies the entire floor plate and rises up through six floors. Like a bustling town square, this dramatic space provides access to all parts of the building. It incorporates the main elevator lobby, the Hearst cafeteria and auditorium, and mezzanine levels for meeting and special functions. The original cast on facade has been preserved in the new design as a designated language type. Originally built as a base for a proposed skyscraper, the construction of the tower was postponed due to the Great Depression. The new tower addition was completed nearly 80 years later, and 2,000 Hertz employees moved in on May 4, 2006. Structurally, the tower has a triangulated form called diagrid, a highly efficient solution that uses 20% less steel than a conventionally framed structure. With its corners peel it back between the diagonals, it has the effect of emphasizing the tower's vertical proportions and creating a distinctive faceted silhouette. The diagrid begins at the 10th floor. From 10th down, the building rests on racking mega columns that allow for vast open spaces for the lobby a cafeteria, meeting rooms, and other public spaces. Hearst Tower is the first green high-rise office building completed in New York City, with a number of environmental considerations built into the plan. It was constructed using 26% less energy than what's used for constructions of this kind. During the demolition of the original six-story structure's interior, in 2004, Harris collected and separated recyclable materials including over 170 tons of steel. In the end, over 80% of the original structure was recycled for future use. The tower also features an innovative type of exterior glass that allows every space in every office to be fluted with natural light and at the same time keeps the invisible radiation that causes heat outside. Inside, the offices have special light sensors that control the amount of artificial light needed during the day. And every space has motion sensors that automatically turn off the lights and equipment. The floor of the atrium is paved 
with heat conductive limestone. Polyethylene tubing is embedded under the floor and filled with circulating water for cooling in the summer and heating in the winter. The atrium itself features escalators which run through a three-story water sculptor titled Ice Fall, a white waterfall built with thousands of glass panels which cools and humidifies the lobby air. Moreover, rainwater is collected on the roof and stored in a tank in the basement for use in the cooling system to irrigate plants and for the water sculpture in the main lobby. Hearst Tower aimed at gold designation from the United States Green Building Council Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certification Program, becoming New York City's first LEED gold skyscraper. For New York, the benefits include significant reduction of pollution and increased conservation of the city's vital resources, and for Hearst employees, it means healthier, more inviting, and more productive environment.